The Standing Rock Sioux Tribe in North Dakota is celebrating a victory today. A crowd of protesters at the construction zone near the Dakota Access Pipeline cheered when they heard the announcement from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers that they will not allow the pipeline project to proceed at its current location. For months, organizers argued that the pipeline crossing the Missouri River adjacent to the Standing Rock Sioux Reservation put their water source at risk. The Army Corps of Engineers will now be undertaking an environmental impact statement to look at possible alternative routes. Energy Transfer Partners has already said that it will be unwilling to reroute that project. In a statement, the U.S. Army said, The Army will not grant an easement to cross Lake Oahe at the proposed location based on the current record. Opponents of the pipeline are calling the news a victory, while North Dakota's governor is calling it, quote, a serious mistake. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders welcomed the announcement, tweeting that he appreciates a president listening to the Native people and millions of others who believe the pipeline shouldn't be built. Since August, thousands of demonstrators have camped at the Standing Rock site to stand with Native Americans. If you look down the road here, there are lights as far as the eye can see. People have come to this place to recognize that we have agency. You know, we have power. And the move certainly demonstrates the power of the people who put a halt on the construction of 1,200 miles of pipeline slated to carry 20 million gallons of oil across the Midwest every day. But the big question now, will that power remain? Energy Transfer Partners could appeal that decision. They issued a statement saying they're fully committed to ensuring that this vital project is brought to completion and fully expect a complete construction of the pipeline without any additional rerouting in and around Lake Oahe. Energy Transfer Partners also added that the, dem the administration's statement today that it would not at this time issue an easement to Dakota Access Pipeline is purely political. He said, they say the decision of the course comes under the Obama administration. President-elect Donald Trump says he supports the pipeline. Some believe he could reverse this call when he takes office next month. Thousands of supporters join the fight against a multi-billion dollar pipeline. Some supporters of those all come all the way from Flint, Michigan, a city that knows all too well about tainted water. An estimated 550 homes have had lead-tainted pipes replaced in Flint so far. While it's a victory in North Dakota for now, protesters say their fight isn't over and the Flint water crisis is next.